Hello, I'm Hans-Jörg Heisch, Integrated Photonics Program Manager at Keysight. Today I'm going to introduce Keysight's Integrated Photonics test solution. This test solution consists of three pillars. It's first instrumentation, we have probing, and we have automation. For the instrumentation, we have the basic photonic instruments which consist of our tunable lasers, the N776C series. It's combined with the polarization synthesizer, the N7786C, and the multiport power meters, N7745C. For routing the signals to the DUT and back to various ports on the DUT, we are using the optical switches which route the signals according to the device configuration. For measuring electro-optic devices, we have the source measure units with the new M9615A, which allows to connect up to five ports per PXI slot on a DUT. For electro-optic RF measurements, we have the lightwave component analyzers, which allow to measure both electric optical transmitters and optical receivers up to 110 gigahertz. It consists of the lightwave component transmitter, lightwave component analyzer receiver, which are both connected to the millimeter wave extender heads of the N5290A millimeter wave performance network analyzer. For probing, we have the form factor probe station CM300XI. This probe station allows you to perform electro-optic or pure optical measurements on wafers or on singulated dyes. Optical probing is with fiber arrays or single fibers, which allow to be connected from either the east side or the west side on a wafer or a die. Probing can be done from the surface or from the edge of a device. For electrical probing, we have the DC probes, which can be configured according to the DC bond pads. For RF probing, we have RF probes with GSG, GS, or for differential probes with both GS, GSG, or GSSG probing. For optical insertion loss measurements or electro-optic responsivity measurements, it's important to calibrate the setup up to the DUT interface. Especially important for the fiber infrastructure to be removed or de-embedded, we need an optical power meter which can actually measure the light that comes out of the fiber array or gets into the fiber array. With a very sophisticated calibration concept using the built-in photodetector or power meter in the, in the probe station, we are able to de-embed and remove all the insertion losses of the fiber infrastructure to the DUT interface. The third pillar, as mentioned in the introduction, is based on automation of silicon photonics testing. The key side approach of test automation relies on pathway test automation. The KS8400A test sequencer connects to instrument plugins which communicate to the specific instruments, not only to our instruments, but also on the wafer prober station. In the test automation platform, you can easily configure a measurement scenario on wafer. Here in this view, we have a die view or die loop where you step on the wafer from die to die and you see the measurement loop where you can actually easily move or add functions that, that realize the communication with the, the wafer prober 
like you just move the, the probes to separation height or the chuck to separation height. And then you can also configure uh, the measurement itself, like for instance in, in this optical uh, measurement you have a wavelength sweep and a span and you can also identify the elements that need to be tested and uh, define the, the names where to store the measurement results. Now let me show you a, a demo here. So we have an element on this uh, auxiliary chuck with, with dice here. And we have uh, the same as a, as a top, top camera. This is from the side, this is from the top. You see basically this is an array, a fiber array. Uh, and this moves through these um, edge elements, edge couplers. Where here we have some alignment structures and here we have counter directional coupler structures where you couple in and the light gets distributed over different ports and we are measuring just two ports and this is this structure is duplicated three times so we are measuring three of those structures and the alignment structures and this is done with this setup here we have a photonic application suite uh, elements we have a multi-port power meter tunable laser polarization synthesizer optical uh, switches that connect to the fiber array and we could also use the rf probes but these are all passive elements we're running through this test script as, as we have shown here and now let me start the videos um, start this one and also start this this video so it's it's where you see how the, the wafer prober moves here and then you also see how the the structures are moved here and this uh, uh, elements moving on to the second and the third elements you see here yeah, it's moving stepping back to the alignment moving then to the next element If you are interested to learn more, visit us at www.keysight.com slash find slash integrated dash photonics.